like the dumb motherfucker that ever lived. Stupid ass Jack. Everybody knows you never go full retard. So what happened to our trailer? We fucked it. You went full retard, man. How hard did I hit that stump? All of it. Never go full retard. All right, well, you were uh, ripping through the fucking trees, and, well, you were going to get some wood to do wood shit. And the next thing you know, there's a stump there, and the next thing you know, you got a really sad face in your axle. Now, there's two ways you can go about this. You can have really deep fucking pockets and be really hard on your gear, or you got to be somewhat good at fiddle fucking these things back to life if you're really good at fucking up gear. But the first fucking step in all of this is complete and utter lack of accountability. None of this is your fault. The stump was planted there years ago, not your fault. The fucking guy who cut it down, not your fault. Even if it was you to cut it down, who gave you the chainsaw? Not your fault. 2021, no accountability. Hashtag. Second thing you want to do is once you get her back to the shop and the, you sober up and the old lady's done giving you the tongue lashing because you just bought this trailer and it's already completely fucked. Well, it was a little bit fucked when I got it, but she's name brand fucked now. So you got her back here. After you've told everybody that it's not your fault, especially not the fender. The fender's definitely not my fault. Now what you're gonna wanna do, after you lick your wounds, cause the tires are fucked and the axle's fucked and the brakes are fucked and your wife's pissed off and your fucking wood's all fucked up and everything's completely just fucking fucked. It's the one magical word. Just by its sound can describe pain, pleasure, hate, and love. Crack about 15 or 20 PC lights. You see the little mountain of PC light over there. To alcohol, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Get those in, dear. Admit you're a fucking meathead. I'm meathead. Dead from the neck up. Meathead. Maybe take a little count. No, no accountability. You almost fell for it. All right. Pull the axle open from this fucking thing. Finally put together the uh, pneumatic. I, this, this is the different press from the last press I had. The last press I had when I re-arced my springs and the old fucking, uh, the old crummins there. Well, it got fucked up, so I took it back because Princess Auto's meant to fuck. And I got the even better one, though. The one's got the nifty fucking uh, Windmaker 500 that makes it so you don't have to fucking pump the cup sucker. But you're gonna want to go ahead and finally put that thing together after a year and a half and having it in the crate. The old lady, I left her in the crate when I got her. Jesus Christ, is she ever pissed off? You know what? A smarter man than myself once said, "What loves you more, a dog or your old lady?" And he says, "Well, you, you go ahead and lock the dog and the wife in the trunk of the car for an hour, and then open her up and see who's more happy to see you." But anyhow, get the axle open under your fucking wreck and uh, get drunk. Definitely got to get drunk first because this is gonna be just figure out get the fucking thing in your uh in the old press get a block here and a block here and the banded part is here this thing was really fucking bent i just fired up the camera because halfway through this i figured out i knew what i was doing so now i figured i might as well fucking videotape it pull both hubs apart and uh well you're gonna need to take one hub off to get her to the vice or the the press if you're all by yourself and kind of stupid and kind of crippled she helped me learn how to read and i showed her how to swing Get yourself a couple chunks of angle iron and hopefully there's no bent to fuck me bringing it home and it falling off the truck halfway there. <coughs> and uh, yeah, just go ahead and bolt her onto the fucking hub flange. So she's nice and tight right there. And uh, go ahead, put one on this side. So she's like that. And use your 3164 drill bit because your half inch one's just thunder fuck from all the drilling it's been doing. Buck a couple holes in there, make her a little wider. I mean, going like this with the drill makes the hole bigger. That's the old lady. Jeez, you got a big push. Jeez, you got a big push. All right, so now, this one should be right on the money. This one's right on the fucking money. The so next thing you want to do is make sure these are mostly straight up and down. Your spring perches. So your spring perch. So what you're going to want to do is have the fucking thing in there. So when it's in the trailer, these are flat. It's horizontal on the spring perches, right? So you're going to want to have them as close to vertical as possible before you start pressing on this fucking thing depending on which way the the axle's bent this one's bent from a goddamn tree stump obviously but yeah they're pretty much straight up and down pretty much is just on the money and then you're going to want to fucking measure from that corner to that corner on the top and on the bottom and if it's more on the top and less on the bottom then you just give her a little bit more jacking 
And what it'll do is it'll bring those hub flanges closer together on the top and farther away on the bottom. So let's see how far fuck it is right now. All right, so take the old measuring tape, go to the tippy top of that one, and the outside of this one. So we got 96 and three quarter inch, bottom, bottom. So we got 96 and three quarter fucking inch. You're fucking kidding me. Man, I haven't even torn to the PC light yet. Holy fuck. So, as you can see, it was bad enough that I had to ratchet strap the axle up into the air. But, and the tire was rubbing there, so you can kind of see that it, it fucking wasn't 96 and three quarter inch. Man, I eyeballed the fuck out of that thing. But, I think when I come off the press a little bit, she's gonna, she's gonna back up. Let's just see what happens here. This thing's probably gonna go fucking flying meow. All right, I'll back her off. Let's just see what we get when we back it off. So when we take the pressure off this fucker, she's gonna wanna bend back. All right, so now we got the pressure off of it. It started moving down on this end. So we'll have, uh, we should have a little bit of light over here before we get to measuring again. Plate's loose. So now the axle's sitting there without any tension on it. So we'll go ahead and measure it one more time. Oh, this one was way the fuck off. Mint, measure there, mint, here. Well, close to mint, mint enough. Mint's enough with dirt in it. Get on there. When the, oh, there we go. Mint and fucking mint. That's the first time you guys have ever seen me use one of those, eh? All right, take your fucking tape measure again. Hook her on there. Come all the way over to here, outside. So we got 96 and 9 sixteenths. And we got 96 and 7 eighths. So... What we're going to want to do is just press on that. That's going to bring her up a little bit. And then we're going to go a little bit past where it needs to be. And then fucking back her off a little bit and see what we get. But before, we're going to call the parts store so they can give me some fucking new leaf springs because, uh, well, I did a name brand job of fucking that one up. She's just thundered. All right, just got off the fucking phone with the minty pricks at Bradbin Trailer in Grand Prairie. They've always just been fucking mint to this feller. All right, so let's go ahead and give her all away and see if we can't come up with an even number on both sides. Now don't overbend the fuck out of it, meow. Let's uh, back out over here. Uh, not yet. Just kind of go until your plate moves here. Oh, now we fucked it again. All right, let's measure the fuck out of it. And yeah, I'm using fucking inches because I was fucking raised in the passenger seat of a 79 Ford listening to fucking Alan Jackson, just like you guys, for fuck's sakes. All right, so now we got 96 and a half inch. We might have overbent it because we're fucking stupid. 96 and a half and 97 or 90, uh, 96 and 7 8. So, did we overbend it? I'm gonna push down on that. These come up. Nope, we didn't overbend it. So, we got to give her a little bit more bending. So, now we're gonna go. We got hooked on the uh, the inside of the top. Oh, fuck. Let's go to the let's go to the proper one so I can keep fucking measurements up. Fuck sakes. This is where a swamper is really handy. Mint. All right. Now let's see, we got 97 and 7 eighths. All right, so we got 96 and 5 eighths. And we got 96 and 7 eighths. So now we're gonna loosen her off and see what we get after that. Minty as fuck. Now this doesn't really matter a thousand million fucking percent, but it'll get you as close as you can with, you know, the equipment you've got. Now let's measure the basement here. We got 96 and 9 sixteenths. And, well, we fucked her still. We got 96 and 7 eighths. We're definitely towed out still though. So let's give her a little too much and then let's go back a bit.
Uh, we got 96 and 516. So let's go cunt here more. There we go. 96 and a quarter. 97 and a quarter. So now when we back out of her, let's see what the fuck we get. 96 and three quarter. Fuck you. And 96 and fucking three quarter. Look at that. Yeah, so that should be fucking mint. Ugh, fuck yeah. Fucking right, doggy. You know, this isn't the first time I went to go get wood and ended up with a bent shaft. So just a stinky little fucking tip for you, just in case nobody washed it. When you go for fucking parts, don't not bring all the old fucking parts, all right? There's a problem. The interface where, where uh, guys that uh, finger bang wrenches all day versus Guys that fiddle fuck the confuser for the for the parts all day. There, there's a problem in the interface right there. Like you got you got uh, you know you got ranch turners on this side and you got computer clickers on this side. There's something wrong in here. So to alleviate such issues, bring them the parts and then lay them right beside the new ones and make sure nobody has to come and fucking punch somebody in the fucking head. Because either the parts guys are really good or the ranch turners are fucking wattoted. What for not having the uh, Ability to write out the part or read out the part number right on the phone or something. I'm saying between here and here We got some fuckery So just bring the parts in there and let them know what you got because Chances are you're fucking stupid or they're fucking stupid. There's two potentials for stupid Just eliminate that And try to pick up some of the parts that were on the highway that might have got ripped off and Might have been really stupid because you're what is drunk. So I just got back from town and I I hate town and uh, well this beers because of town F you town But I got the least brand needed and this that and the other shit like you seen there I just went and put the fucking thing in the uh, in the trailer and it wasn't exactly the way I wanted it So the trailer right meow is a hundred or whatever the fuck 90 out from what it was So I put the fucker back in there leveled her up here Leveled her up here She's all fucking mint now we're just gonna do one more ligament on it, and we're gonna do it right at the ends of the fucking hangle iron. What for, uh, that'll give us our best measurement overall. It'll be a lot more touchy way out at the end. It'll be, it'll be Karen touchy. <coughs> but me and my buddy over at uh, DD's Speed Shop there, DD's Speed Shop, DD's Speed Shop. I hope saying that name will give me a bunch more views, but. Um, anyhow, <laughs> hashtag DD's Speed Shop. He was just talking about uh, all these Karens that are bitching about old hot rods and shit on the road. Well, listen here, you stupid cunts. Hot rods have been around way longer than fucking you have, so why don't you go fucking lay down and uh, eat a bag of cock because fuck you, hot rods are mint. Man, it's just all these women just bitch. All these, even there's men caring too, for fuck's sakes, but they're just bitching all the time. Just fuck off and go lay down. Like, fuck me. All right, anyhow, rant over. 96 and three quarter inch for the top. Is this? Oh, Junior's out there getting in shit. All right, so there's no pressure on there at all. They're damn near, fucking, they're probably square. All right, let's just fucking go one more time here. Fuck your mother. She was a snowblower. Oh, come on, there she goes. And we got, 96 and right on three quarters. 96 and right on fucking three quarters. You can't fucking argue with that. <clears throat> All right, we're good now. Is it loose in there? Yeah, she's fucking loose in there. Let's pop the sucker back in the old fucking trailer and call that good. And I guess if it scrubs off tires, it scrubs off tires. That's the fucking way she goes. So there you go. So just in case you head down to your fucking, uh, your trailer ranch polar 500 and he tells you that you're uh, seven ways on sunday you know you can tell him to lick your uh rest of sheriff's badge and you got this go ahead and just pull your axle out after you rally the fuck out of it stuff her in the vice give her all the piss eye and next thing you know your fuck shaft doesn't have a bend in it because you know what they say sometimes when you get wood you end up with a bent shaft once again thanks to fuck pile all you minty pricks that have been sending me all this shit. oh and look at this my my son made this in school. Check this out. It says, name, it says his little planet he made, right? It says, name a planet. Eno Baco. And what will the planet, what will happen there? There will be backhoes, logging trucks, and flatbed trucks on my planet. Man.
That's how you know you did parenting right. Fuck yeah. And thanks to Fuck Pile, the Patreons. You got her minty as fuck. This is just a quick video I wanted to dial together. What for, uh, you know, unfucking your trailer just in case you fuck it. Because, you know, sometimes you fuck your trailer up and it's nice to know how to fix it. But it's, it, it's probably a good idea to leave drinking and trailering out of the fucking deal. Unless you live in like a house trailer like I do. You can drink and trailer every fucking day. But, but yeah, there you go. That's how you fucking fix it. Keep shitting out your ass and uh, go fuck yourself.